Greetings, here is Fred, your favorite Italian content creator publishing videos in broken English here on YouTube and this is another video dedicated to Victoria 3 in preparation for its upcoming release. No need to say that if you're interested in Victoria 3 or in other real-time strategy games, I will definitely recommend you to subscribe to my channel, but let's go straight to the point of today's video and let's talk about the meta in Victoria 3. But Fred, you will probably say, the game is not out yet, how could you possibly know what the meta of Victoria 3 will be? Well, you are right, I cannot know, but reflecting on what was the meta in the previous chapter of this series, it is possible to make safe assumption on what components will remain crucial also in Victoria 3. And I believe three of them will help you tackle your first runs in the game as soon as it gets released. Let's start talking about the pops. As I have already explained in the previous video of this series, they play a central role in Victoria. Everything that helps you improve your population both quantitatively and qualitatively boosts significantly your campaign. This was true in Victoria 2 and most likely will remain true in Victoria 3. And more concretely, this means focusing on the techs related to healthcare and education first. Healthcare will help you expand your population while education will support their literacy, allowing you to get a large, qualified workforce. So tip number one, prioritize health and education. Tip number two, develop your infrastructure. As simple as that. <laughs> Already in Victoria 2, this was an important element. And based on what it was said in the dev diaries, I have the feeling that this will become even more crucial in the new title. Having a solid infrastructure is something you will benefit from both at peace and in times of war, as this will improve the production of goods in general, while also supporting the economy of war when a conflict cannot be avoided. And we already know that the warfare will be significantly different in Victoria 3, less focused on the actual tactical movement of troops in the battlefield and mainly centered on its managerial aspects instead. So do yourself a favor, develop your infrastructure. It will be expensive, but in the long run it will pay off, I'm sure. Last but not least, let's talk about colonialism. But here I must make a long premise as I'm not 100% sure that this will actually be part of the meta in Victoria 3. Paradox has refined further the mechanic that was already present in Victoria 2. But before trying out the game, it is basically impossible to assume how challenging things will be in the new title. At first sight, to be fully honest, it looks like colonialism won't be an easy journey. On top of the colonization technology, players will need also to develop medical technology in order to prevent penalties. And they might also have to deal with both nosy neighbors and local uprisings. And in all of this, we still do not know what will be the impact of market access on colonies with the new market structure that has been developed specifically for Victoria 3. Because of all of this, I'm not sure how easy it will be to expand in Africa early in the game. But should you be able to do so, target the Niger Delta first. This is basically my last advice for today. In Victoria 2, in fact, it was one of the best areas in terms of resources and population, and there is no reason to believe that this will change in Victoria 3. So we still don't know how easy it will, it will be to colonize, but we can assume that if you are going into this direction, the Niger Delta should still be a good target for that. So keep the Niger Delta as a potential target for your territorial expansion. And this is basically it for today. Once the game is released, we will be able to check if these points are still applicable, but the information shared by the developers until this point seem all to suggest so. Of course, I will keep you posted in case of big news, so do not forget to follow the channel to stay up to date on Victoria 3 content. And if this will be the case, see you in the next video. Cheers!